Welcome to Medica Nova Wellness Studio. I'm Dr. Angelica Maria Koch with the educational videos about optimal health and the most innovative and holistic approach to your well-being. Let's continue introducing you to the homeopathic biochemic tissue salts. If you happen to be not familiar with this, super effective and yet over-the-counter available supplements, have a look at my video which I posted about two weeks ago about how you can support your children's growing years with natural protocols. Today let's have a look how you can purify and clean your blood and lymph with two of these effective tissue salts. So enjoy! To stay updated with my ongoing videos, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for the notification. Share and like it with your friends and family. And have a look at my website, medicanova.net, at the online academy, where you will find comprehensive home study, online courses in first aid homeopathy, quantum healing, and soon wellness coaching. If you're interested in a personal health consultation, either for yourself or your children, then contact me at health at medicanova.net. So thank you. Homeopathic biochemic tissue salts uh, or cell salts, they're called cell salts in the US, tissue salts in Canada and the, uh, in Europe, they're all the same. Cover about 12 different kinds of different mineral compounds and in this video it's focused on two of the calcium uh, family members. Again, last time we did calcium phos or phosphate and today we do calcium sulfate and calcium fluoride. Now minerals again have been used in the treatment of human illness since about the 16th century when the Swiss physician, that is called Philippus Aureolus Paracelsus in the mid-1500 changed the face of medicine because you really went into chemistry. Now in more recent times the founder of homeopathy, Dr. Samuel Hahnemann in the mid-18th century, he really investigated and put a lot of research onto the physiological and pathogenic effects of the minerals, particularly sodium, potassium, calcium, and silica. Now, you find on, in your health food store, you find on the shelf these tissue salts. They have a number on it as well. They're not homeopathic remedies per se. They're sort of a kind, a different species of homeopathic remedies. So, although they're in the same aisle, they're different than the classical homeopathic remedies. Although we call, or what we call biochemic tissue salt therapy today, initially was formulated by Dr. Schussler. So they're also called Schussler salts in the 19th century. And they were around in one form or another in healthcare for millennia. Right? In India we had, or Egypt, we had um, vegetables, minerals, vegetables uh, a long time ago. As well in the heyday in the Roman Empire, mineral spas were very you know, appreciated. Now William Heinrich Schussler, he was born in the 1821 and he was really the founder of these remarkable products. He became interested in examining the effects of tissue salts on the human organism. And after practicing you know, many years uh, with homeopathy, he then went only for the minerals. Now his analysis was quite revolutionary. So he found that the inorganic mineral ash that remains after the human body is burned, after cremation, revealed that it is primarily made up of 12 mineral salts. I mean, what a revelation is that, right? And so that therefore these minerals must play a vital role in both the physical integrity as well as the proper functioning you know, of the whole organism as a whole. You're down to 12 minerals. Huh? That's what we are. Further investigation, predictable, revealed that of course different organs or different parts of the body uh, also were made of, of different mineral compounds and even that there is a, a different ratio of minerals required in order to keep the body really healthy. He therefore concluded that those different minerals or different uh, ratios of minerals again were vital for both the integrity as well as the functioning of those individual organs. 
So the Schussler method is based upon the deployment of 12 inorganic mineral salts and each are made of, of a canyon or an anion element, that means an alkaline or an acid element. They are not mineral salts as you know what we usually understand of minerals, you know, which we found usually externally in healing earth um, preparations or even many alkaline uh, elements in our food. But they are potentized and I'm not going to go into it in depth now, but you heard homeopathic remedies are potentized, that means the mother tincture maybe, the herbal tincture in itself, one drop is taken out of that, it's put into another vial, mixed with alcohol and water, and then it's shaken. Right? And shaken, this, this shaken, this movement creates a certain energy field or releases the energy field of the healing properties of the substance. With the Schüssler salts, they are mixed not with water and alcohol, but with milk sugar. And it makes them uh, extremely refined and potent. Now, each of the Schüssler minerals, um, basic, uh, the whole combination is based out of alkaline and acidic elements. And this combination of this alkalinity and acidity, again in calcium phosphate, calcium would be the alkaline and phosphate would be the acidic part, means that the organism does not have to construct these combinations from single elements. It is given to the body. And Schussler actually thought that this is one of the reasons of the mineral's effectiveness. Why are they so powerful? You know, because they go straight to the intercellular liquid at the cell membrane. And we know today that most of the diseases are based on, we call it mitochondrial diseases. The mitochondria is the powerhouse within your cell. Now, in order for me to speak to you on this video, you know, these powerhouses need to create energy. And in order to create energy, they need nutrients. But if the cell membrane is clogged or toxic, the nutrients can't go in, right? The mitochondria doesn't get the nutrients. It, even, even if it produces a little bit of energy, the byproducts out of that are waste products, they can't be transported out. So everything is sort of um, miscommunicated, right? The cells don't communicate with each other anymore. They don't talk to each other because they're so just focused on clean cleansing out themselves. So the tissue cells are God sent here. They go straight to the cell. By the way, just another thought. If you want to do something really nicely for your cell membrane, bring in more omega-6 and 9, a um, nice ratio of um, omega essential oils really helps you as well. So they do not have to go straight to the digestive system, they bypass that. Although having said that, by taking them, they often boost the digestive system and therefore uh, you know, really stimulate the assimilation and the absorption of food. Now, if the effect of these minerals does not always immediately address sort of the symptoms of the illness, although they can target that as well, because it is more of an overall sort of fine harmony of the organs and the function that is affected by the insufficiency of whatever minerals are needed. So if you're deficient of that, here it is, you have something at hand. So Schussler salts are exclusively substances that are already, you know, they already exist in sufficiently balanced mass in a healthy body. It's our sort of prime language of our existence. Right? This body is made of 12 mineral compounds. And when you know what you're missing, here's something you can bring to the body and it will kiss your cheeks and your toes at the same time because suddenly the body feels understood. So let's talk about one called calcium sulfate. It comes with the number three, I believe, here. Yeah. So calcium sulfate is a blood purifier and it's also a healer. It cleanses out accumulation of non-functional organic matter in the tissues 
and causes infiltrated parts to discharge their contents readily. So it just is interested in getting the sludge out of the body. It throws off decaying organic matter so that it may not lie dormant or slowly decays and therefore also it prevents injuring the surrounding tissues. It's the highest intelligence within our body. Cell salts satisfy mineral imbalances in the body, stimulating the body's natural healing process. And as I said, when your body lacks these important cell salts, you are more vulnerable to common health concerns. By replenishing them, your body is better prepared to treat illnesses and enjoy better overall wellness. So calcium sulfate is really a vital part of the body's cleansing systems. And the remedy in itself helps the body cleanse diverse symptoms where associated discharges. And here it comes a yellow. Anything which comes out of your body which is really yellow, you think about calcium sulf. Pus, pimples, acne, anything on that level. So it's recommended for relief of a wide range of symptoms, specifically those that result again in the formation of yellow pus that are aggravated by heat or stuffy rooms. When the blood is impure or you know just carries too much sludge, often the body will produce an exit symptoms to get rid of it. And we have maybe ulcers, we have boils, we have uh, gum boils, right? And of course, acne is one of them. We have maybe colds or post-nasal drip or sore throat, and we have a lot of yellow discharge happening. Calc self is wonderful. In fact, when you feel like you have a lot of mucus phlegm, we call it also catarrh coming out of your nose, and you know the first stages are usually white and then it goes into the yellowness and then it goes into the green stage. When you think about the yellow part, you know, where it just this doesn't look good, or you cough up a yellow discharge, I mean, you want to bring it or alternate it with another tissue salt called Kali Moor. Great combination, great combo here as well. But Kalksab is fantastic for. Uh, teenagers with acne, for example, where they have a lot of sort of big pimples with pus coming out almost. Um, gum boils, you know, gum boils is like on the teeth and the gum, you have this big, you know, almost vesicle uh, produced and when you poke them then all the liquid pus comes out. Again, a combination of the other tissue called silica might be a nice uh, idea you can do calc self in the morning and silica in the evening. Usually, I say four tablets for adults in the morning and evening, for children, maybe you know, two only. Now, calc self has been found value again in the treatment also for frontal headaches, neuralgias in the elderly. It's definitely a liver detoxification uh, help here because the liver is the prime organ which cleanses our guck out, right? And it helps the removal of waste products from the bloodstream, therefore. It has great cleansing and purifying influence upon the whole system. Now, this tissue salt influences again the formation of connective and supportive tissue in the body and therefore also supporting the growth of new blood cells. Calc self is really important for the effect and it, um, you know when teenagers have a really bad acne, they feel embarrassed, they feel like they don't even want to go to school. Um, Calc self is a godsend here and it's cheap, it's affordable and it works. I would say four tablets morning and evening and stretch it out for a whole month or two till the skin gets a little bit better. Having said that, you know, if they live on junk food, that doesn't help either. So change the diet, please. But calc self is very much indicated for adult acne, right, to purify your blood. Scaly skin, I would say chronic bronchitis where you have yellow discharge. 
boils with pus. Also wounds that don't heal. Right? The blood needs a little oomph here. And I've seen it also for dandruff. Very effective here. So think about calc sulfate when you have a condition where your blood is impure and you have a lot of expressions of the body where you have yellow discharge coming from the cough, from the chest, as well as the skin. Our second remedy today is called calcium fluoride. I think it has the number one on the bottle. And here this cell salt is indicated whenever you have symptoms where everything is just too relaxed in the body, right? So when you have just too, too much sluggishness in your body, it hits your veins. And often this is a fantastic remedy for varicose veins. Also maybe piles or hemorrhoids, sluggish circulation within the body. And this can then end up maybe in eczema even, right, or ulcerations in the body. You know, in the last video we talked about calcfos, and here it, I said it promotes healthy cellular activity or restores or tones a weakened organ, right? Now, with calc fluor, it's not just sort of tones or restores weakened organs, it actually strengthens them. It gives them the elasticity and that's the beauty of it. Whereas in Ferrum Frost, from our last video, I said it gives strength and toughness to the circular walls of the blood vessels, especially the arteries. So you can see each tissue salt has a specific affinity for your overall and optimal health. So calc fluor, everything is sluggish. Okay? So if you have a sluggish circulation, you maybe end up with constipation, right? Because you have relaxed muscles of the rectum. It all makes sense, huh? So it is known as the elasticity cell salt. It's a favorite for relieving hemorrhoids. You know, the itch or bleed or if they're internal or external, go for that. It offers gentle support and relief for the itching, irritation and the pain that maybe can extend into the lower back or the sacrum even. Great remedy for chapped or cracked skin. Now with calc fluor you often see sort of a thick greenish discharge coming out of the body. Right? With calc salt we have yellowish pus. Here we have almost greenish discharge so it's a great a remedy when you see, oh my God, this stuff that's coming out of my chest gets a little bit green. That means it's toxic. You got to do something about it. It's also indicated for backache with dragging down bearing pains. You know, I've seen it. You know, I've seen it a lot in chronic synovitis, which means the liquid around which you have in your joints with your elbow or your knee. You know, it's, it's a great remedy here. It affects the surface of the bones, so cracks or cuts in the skin. And therefore, it's a fantastic remedy in combination with calc salve, which I talked about last time, if the enamel of the teeth are affected. Right? In children, when they grow up and their teeth formation aren't so good, you think about calc fos, and especially if the enamel is an issue and not just slow growth or slow dentition. Think about a combo. I would do calc fos and calc fluor. It's like calc fos in the morning, calc fluor in the evening. Fantastic. Again, it really hits the surface of the bones. Again, the enamel of the teeth, the elastic fibers of the body, the skin and the blood vessel. And therefore, it's responsible for an overall elasticity, right? And as, again, deficiency goes into enlarged varicose veins, hemorrhoid, even stretch marks, right, after pregnancy. Poor condition of the enamel, I mentioned that of the teeth. Don't forget the cracks and the cuts in the skin. General sluggishness, right, constipation due to muscular tone of the rectum, maybe a backache which is dragging down with pain. Think about the chronic synovitis and just 
generally restoring balance to the condition affecting the surface of the bones. So they're so affordable at your health food store, but they deeply go into the interior of your cellular structures and really help you to thrive again. Now, if you're not quite sure, okay, which one should I take out of the 12? Um, the company Highland also produced Bioplasma. So they threw everything in one. And if that's easy for you, you can do that too. Uh, it's not so specific, it's more an overall tonifier, but it helps very much. I'm going to share a story with you about it. My cat passed away. It was called Mundo. He escaped once and was found after a week under sort of a skirting under a trailer here in the US. He had no food, no water for a week. So I found him and he was, of course, emaciated, lost half his weight was totally delirious. And uh, what I did? Buy a plasma. I gave this literally every hour to this cat and little drops of water. His kidneys were failing already and he had more than nine life cats, uh, lives for cats. Wait, he he re beautifully recovered and um, down to bioplasma. So don't uh, belittle the effects of these supplements. It's just fantastic. So I hope this summary of these effective homeopathic biochemic tissue or cell salt has given you an insight on understanding these amazing and effective products. Remember, they are available at your local health food store. If you need more help, of course, contact me at health at medicanova.net. I'm happy to help here. And remember to subscribe, click the bell to my channel and so you receive more notification of new videos and check out my website medicanova.net. So for today, much love, take care and start thriving because you deserve it. Music